Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spill the Tea with Tommy D. This week I got a new company. This company is called Dollar Tea Club. It's one of those awesome subscription boxes. This one's catered to tea crazy people like me. Um, so it kind of works the same way. You know, you pay, it's a dollar, but you know, shipping, all that stuff. They send you a couple little packets. But if you want, you can also just add to your package and order a little bit more. Um, so this week, we're going to do a tea. It's called Uncle Iroh by Dollar Tea Club. Um, and Uncle Iroh is a actually a cartoon character from a show called Avatar The Last Airbender. It makes sense, though, because he's kind of like this old guy. He brews tea all the time and has these amazing tea quotes like the secret gradient is love and uh, sick of tea. That's like being sick of breathing. So basically, he's my spirit animal. Uh, so we're going to brew his exclusive tea by uh, the, uh, the Dollar Tea Club here. But we're going to do it Gung Fu style. You know, I, I kind of took a break from this Gung Fu set, but I love it so much, and we're going to do it. Um, so let's just take a quick look at this tea. Uh, this one, Uncle Iroh, um, the characters are based off of Chinese culture, so it kind of makes sense that this is a green tea with jasmine petals. It also has a lychee flavor to it. So lychee actually we did, uh, with our matcha episode, and that's kind of like that grape almost kind of fruit, um, that's a little different than that. So, smelling it, I can, I can smell the green tea. Um, I smell a lot of that lychee. It's gonna kind of reminds me of that matcha almost, except this green tea is gonna be a little more roasty because it's a Chinese green tea. They don't do the pan firing. And I can taste just a hint of the ja I can smell just a hint of the jasmine as well. Taking a look at it. Yep, I see jasmine petals and I see green tea leaves, which the lychee is probably more of a scented flavoring than a added the pieces in. Uh, so for Gung Fu, I already rinsed my little pot and the decanter and this to heat it up. We're going to start two teaspoons in the Gung Fu pot. We do short steep times because I really want to explore those flavors today. So first steep time is going to be a 20 second steep time. This is a green tea, so we're going to do it about 175. Got my water cooled down and let's do it. So recently, a little boy by the name of uh, Bridger Walker saved his sister. He's six years old. Saved his sister from a brutal dog attack at four. She was four years old. Um, I don't understand how you do that at six. Because when I was six, I was afraid of my own shadow. Like spring never showed up for me. I Put a pin in it. T T time. All Alright, so um, there's a little strainer built into the pot if you've never seen me use this before. So basically you pour it right out and the purpose of Gung Fu is you do short steep times to really unearth the different layers of the tea leaves. Um, wow, really nice blend right out the gate. I can smell the lychee. I can smell a little bit of the jasmine as well. Let's take a brief moment here. Mm, I smell the jasmine. Mm, lot of lychee in that first one. Um, right at the end, I can taste the uh, kind of roastiness and from uh, like that pan firing, that roastiness, maybe a little bit of chestnut from that hand move I do, uh, the little bit of chestnut from the green tea. Yeah, I smelled a little bit of the jasmine, didn't taste too much of it, probably because the lychee is going to overpower it with this kind of short steep time. Yeah, a little bit of uh, chestnut. Um, and the lychee on that first infusion. All right, so for our second infusion, I added 10 seconds, so we got 30 seconds on the clock. So your boy saves his sister. That's what happened. Now, here's the thing. Most kids get, he's got a big scar on his face now. Most kids get that scar, 
you know, jumping off the jungle gym, something. He got his scar from saving his sister from a brutal dog attack. So first things first, the ladies are going to love Bridger Walker. You know, he's going to get all the good crayons at school. He's going to be that ladies man. You know, a hero. Everyone loves a hero. And then on top of that, his poor sister, sorry to say this, put a pin in it. Second infusion. Oh my god, I'm spilling a lot of tea. Okay. Uncle Iroh wouldn't approve of this. Okay. Less lychee now. That first infusion probably took a lot of that lychee out. Actually, I still taste a decent amount of that lychee. Again, it's like a fruity, kind of grape-like fruit. This one, actually, I'm going to be honest, this one, a little bit less of that green tea, the chestnut, more lychee. More lychee. So this one, this second infusion, is actually a bit sweeter than the last one. Not as astringent or drying. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really, really sweet and delicious from that lychee there. This is why Gung Fu is so fun. You never expect, like, you never know what to expect. So first one, got some uh, chestnut and lychee. This one, more lychee. Mmm. Oh, maybe just a little hint of that jasmine starting to break through. All right, we're going to add 10 more seconds, and we're going to do another steep. 40 seconds on the clock. Third infusion. Yeah, so Bridger Walker's is, you know... Halloween might be coming around. He's going to be like, yeah, sis, can I have some of your chocolate? No? That's a shame. You know who really does hate chocolate, though? Giant dogs. Uh, so he's going to have that going for him. And then on top of that, he got so much praise from what he did that a cruise gave his entire family VIP treatment. So we know who the favorite is now. And on top of that, members of the Avengers reached out to him to congratulate him for being so heroic. So this little boy, that's going right through his head. He's going to be running around his house very soon in a dog pelt, shouting about how he's going to take a bite out of crime and stuff like that. Now I'm starting to smell more of that jasmine. Let's see if I can get it. Color looks a little darker now. Mmm, yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, and there it is. That lychee, after that second infusion, has been... It's still there a little bit, but it's been almost completely uh, infused in our past two ones. Now, I taste that chestnut, and a little bit of sweetness from the green tea leaves. And that hint of floralness from the jasmine. You can really feel... The jasmine does add a little bit of astringency, a little bit of drying around the mouth, but it's nice. A little bit of floralness in there. Still get that lychee a little bit underneath. Just a just that little hint of grape right there, right underneath there. But now we get, mm, oh, I can taste it right now still, the, the, this kind of just roasty chestnut paired with a little bit of sweetness from the green tea leaves uh, and then just matches well with a nice hints of jasmine. Um, so there we have it. We have some Uncle Iroh. We did it in our awesome Gong Fu set. Uh, we got... Flavors of green tea and lychee up front. Second infusion was sweet, delicious lychee. Uh, and that third infusion, 
cut out that lychee. The lychee took the back seat. The green tea leaves and the jasmine came forward. And uh, that's, how we, that's how we brew some Uncle Iroh tea in honor of my boy, Uncle Iroh. Uh, so thank you, Dollar Tea Club. Thanks for hooking up an Uncle Iro T. The man deserves some respect. Uh, and please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, as always, we will see you on the next episode.